Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you are visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have not already guessed by the title, today I'm going to be doing a video titled November Favourites. And these are all products that I have been really enjoying for the month of November, all mostly fragrances. However, I have scattered in a couple of other products. I hope you don't mind, but they are all mostly fragrance related. So I might start talking about things like candles or body lotions, etc. So if you like the sound of that, then please do keep on watching. But before we get started on the video, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It really helps this channel out and I will continue making fragrance content like this in the future. Plus, I would really love it if you could come and join me over on Instagram. I have popped my handle on the screen. I love chatting to everyone in the messages, but I'm also posting stories asking what YouTube content I should film next. So now that's out of the way, let's get started on my November favourite. Now my first November favourite is something that has been on my wish list for such a long time and I finally took the plunge and purchased it and that is none other than Guerlain's Tonka Imperial and I have the 200ml size bottle. Wow, this is a beast. I have absolutely wanted this fragrance for such a long time and I'm so glad to have it in my collection now. When it arrived, I was a bit like, oh, this is the lighter juice color. And I just want to clarify something. Because Guerlain uses raw and natural ingredients, the juice color can differ fragrance to fragrance. However, I have had it confirmed by Guerlain that the juice color is absolutely fine. And I was sent a video showing the different variations in juice color for Tonka Imperial. Now I've got that boring bit out of the way. Let's talk about the fragrance. Now this has been on my wish list for such a long time. I am an absolute avid Tonka enthusiast. I love Tonka fragrances. And for me, this is kind of the king or queen of Tonka bean fragrances. It is a slightly powdery Tonka dried fruit style fragrance. It has a DNA very much reminiscent of other Guerlain fragrances. You can absolutely tell it's from Guerlain. Sorry, I've said that word so many times. And I am head over heels for this one. I'm definitely going to be reaching for this a lot in the winter time. And I think this bottle is going to last me for a very long time. Have you tried Tonka Imperial from Guerlain? And if so, what are your thoughts on this fragrance? And I would also love to know what is your favorite from the La Art and Materials collection? I have a few favorites. Tonka Imperial is definitely up there as one of the best. I also think Spiritueuse Double Vani is so stunning, but Angelique Noir might take the top spot for me. I'm not too sure. There are so many good fragrances within this collection. But yeah, I'm so over the moon that I finally have this in my collection. I couldn't resist purchasing it. And yeah, it's gonna be cherished for years to come. My next November favorite is from M. Micheleth and it is Note Vinny. And I have definitely spoken about this in a few videos now, but the reason why it's in my November favorites is because I have been reaching for it so much this month. I think it is one of the most perfect vanilla fragrances on the market, specifically if you like a sweet vanilla. I think it has a similarity to fragrances like Kiale Vanilla 28, Jerome Bohm's Insulo, Javoy Fire at Will, but this has floral nuances throughout, and I would say it's slightly more complex, at least to my nose anyway. I think it is one of the most perfect vanillas in my collection, and I would reach for this all year round. So it deserves a place in my November favorites, and I would love to know if you have smelt Note Vanille by M. Micheleth. If so, what are your thoughts? My next November favorite is actually a handbag and it is the only non-fragranced item within this list. So I hope you do not mind, but it is so beautiful and I wanted to include it. And the handbag in question is by Teddy Blake and it is the nine inch Kim bag. I will pop all of the details below. I think this is such a chic kind of everyday bag. I absolutely love the kind of beige taupe color with the gold hardware. And I personally really enjoy a small bag. The brand kindly reached out to me and asked if I would like to try one of their bags. And I wouldn't normally do this type of thing on my channel. However, they are made in Italy and they do use 
premium Italian leather. So I couldn't pass up this opportunity because I just think they're so chic and classy. Whilst it is a small bag, you can fit quite a lot in there. So it opens up like this. And I actually prefer to wear mine with this little bit tucked in and like this and it has a long strap too. I will actually insert a cutaway of me wearing this bag so you can see what it looks like but yeah I'm super happy with this and I actually do want to pick it up in black now. This is a US brand and I live in the UK so don't let that put you off but I know most of my subscribers actually live in the US. Plus, Teddy Blake have also offered me a $30 off discount code. I will pop all of the details in the description box below if you did want to try something from the lineup. The craftsmanship for the price is absolutely phenomenal. I love that it's made in Italy using Italian leather. And I just think this is such a luxury purchase for the price point. And I know I'm gonna be getting a lot of use out of this to come. And like I said, I do wanna pick up the black version as I know I will wear it a lot. My next favorite I am so excited by, and it is a purchase that I do not regret at all. And it is by a brand called Flora Iku. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. And I actually blind tested this in one of my past videos with my best friend Tori. It was in the Harrods advent calendar and I had to purchase this. So this is the outer box and then you open it up and this is what the inner packaging looks like. Just got to make sure my camera's in focus. And it is super, super cute in my opinion. It's styled to look like a bento box. And then you open up the little flap, I hate that word. And then inside you get the fragrance. So let me just pop it up a little bit closer. So the idea behind this is you get the 50 mil sized fragrance, you get a 10 mil travel atomizer, but the lid here, is actually a travel case for this atomizer. So I'm gonna show you how it all works. I just think it is a super cool concept. So let me just put this down quickly because the camera probably will go in and out of focus. So this is a close up of the fragrance. My camera might struggle to focus a little bit and you can actually take the lid off like so. So I'm gonna pop this down quickly. And then what you then do, two seconds, is you get the 10 mil size out and then you pop it in the travel atomizer like so and then you add on the lid Ta -da! such a cool concept in my opinion so i'm going to take the lid off because it's a little bit too reflective but i just think this is such a cool concept and i absolutely love it it's very clever and i've been reaching for this so much already but what does the fragrance smell like? Okay, so I've just popped that lid back on. It does actually come with another small lid if you do wanna use the travel atomizer separately. So this is the other lid. So what does the actual fragrance smell like? Now in the blind testing, I said it very much smelled like blueberry. I was wrong. The note is actually blackberry. However, I still do perceive it as a blueberry note. What I get from this fragrance is a warm fruit pie where the fruit is cooked down and it's gone very syrupy. So it's very dense, sticky and gooey. And it smells like a mixture of kind of black and red berries to me. So like blueberry, blackberry, maybe some raspberries too. But in the mid, it has a tea and rice note. I don't necessarily get the tea as much, but I can pick out a rice note but the fruitiness is a little bit more overpowering. So I would say you mostly get the fruits within this. It could smell a little bit like a very fruity tea, actually thinking about it. And then in the base is musk and cedar. But yeah, I just think this smells like a dense and gooey, freshly baked warm pie. And it is absolutely incredible. Definitely one of my favorite purchases this year. And I can't wait to check out more fragrances from this brand. I just think it's so cute. Please do let me know your thoughts on this. I would love to explore this brand a little bit more. They do sell in Harrods, which I wasn't aware of. So I'm definitely gonna take myself to Harrods and sniff all of the other fragrances. But yeah, I am just blown away by the concept personally. I think it's super cool. And yeah, the fragrance is phenomenal. To me anyway, I'm obsessed. 
Let's move on to another favourite, and this time it is by Unnoit Nomad, and this one is Jardin's de Mitzvah. And I did recently talk about this in one of my other videos. It is such a gorgeous kind of date and rose fragrance. I mostly get the dense, sticky, dark date note. However, the rose is very prominent too. It's definitely one of my favourite fragrance discoveries of the year. It's a very affordable brand and I highly recommend you checking them out if you haven't already. But what I want to talk about in this video more than Jardin's de Mitzvah is their discovery kit because this is such a cool way to discover the brand. So this is what the discovery kit looks like up close. I think it's really cool that you get the sample cards in here too. So let me just grab some out. So they actually have the name on them and the notes there too. But I definitely wanted to mention the brand as it's definitely a favorite discovery of the month. And I just think the concept's really cool. And I found some fragrances I absolutely love already, like Jardin's de Mitzvah, Chef's Kiss. And a few of you commented on my last video saying you absolutely adore that fragrance too. So I'm glad other people have been discovering this brand. I do actually have a discount code for this brand too. If you do want to purchase anything, I've popped that in the description box below. But yeah, definitely a brand worth discovering. They are affordable within the niche category. And I love that you can actually buy their fragrances without the outer packaging and save a little bit of money. But anyway, this is definitely a November favorite and I will move on to the next product. Now stay with me here because it's not a fragrance but it is a fragranced product and that is none other than Fenty Skin Body Butter. What is it actually called? Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream and wow this makes my skin feel so incredible and it smells amazing. Whenever I use this my skin has never felt so soft like truly it is baby skin. And I don't know what magic is in here, but the hype is real. I know in the US they sell a shimmering version of this too, but I can't pick this up in the UK yet. But definitely one of my favorite purchases this November, and I will be repurchasing this over and over again. Plus it's gonna make you smell incredible too. Now I know this was a little bit of a different video. I hope you didn't mind me adding a few kind of curveball products within my favorite, but would you like me to continue doing a favorites video monthly? And do you mind me adding different products that aren't necessarily always gonna be fragrance related? I will always be talking about fragrances, but I do get asked questions in the comments about things like my jewelry, makeup, etc. So I thought it would be quite cool to add it in, but I would love to hear your feedback but please do let me know what some of your November favorites are I find it really interesting and I will likely go and research some of your suggestions thank you so much for joining me today I really appreciate it I hope you have a wonderful day and I shall see you all very soon thank you so much and goodbye